Lex here, coming back at you with another video here with Exiled and Sly once more. Oh. And we're going to be profiling my. His trash deck, that's what he means. My trash deck, exactly. Um, so, before we start this, I do want to make a, a couple announcements. Or, one eyes on our uh, video of our. Dark, geez, melodious, uh, and gimmick puppet deck profile. Uh, we have a Discord server, so please come join us. We're cool people. Are we? We would no, be honored not, if you would join us. So, please do join us. Uh, that. And then also, we have new channel art and a new channel icon provided personally by my girlfriend. So, um, please go check that out at our Just channel. Just had to stay at a girlfriend. Compensate for something. <laughs> Poor agreement. <laughs> 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 so, please go check that out. Uh, our channel art actually is... She... Did a beautiful job on that, so please go check that out. Um, and you're not just saying because yeah. you're biased. <laughs> biased. It actually does look really, really. It cool. is actually quite nice. Good. So, uh, for, without further ado, let's get into this profile. So, um, first card up on the list is Perform Pal Odd Eyes is over, and really the only reason you're on this card is production. <laughs> Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I do run this card. It's more of just a tech than anything. You can you can flip this out for anything. Your third third desires, literally just anything. But I just find it just to add some own personal flair to the deck. Uh, Astrodraft Sorcerer. This is pretty basic in all Pendulum Magicians. So if you've seen this card before in Pendulum Magician decks, you know why. But again, um, protection. You get a free search. It's a really good card. To the Oath Dragon Magician. Though I only playing one copy of this. Um, not as consistent as I'd like it to be. Um, you can move it up to two if you like, but I like to keep it at one. Also, it's a free search in your pendulum scale. You're not really going to be using it as a monster anyway, so for search in the pendulum scale. Next up, you got the three skull Corbat Joker. Obviously, this search is literally an E card in your deck. So, besides Maxi, <laughs> because Maxi is literally not searchable, but it's a very good card. It is searchable. Um, Retaliating Ski. <laughs> then you got uh, two copies of Black Fang Magician. Uh, this card's pretty good. It gives you has your uh, one of one one of your opponent's monsters attack, and then it also special summons a Dark Spellcaster when it's destroyed. That's a very good card to have in the deck. Also for Zark, it's really helpful, obviously, because you need it. <laughs> White Wing Magician. Uh, again, I don't really like its Pendulum effect, but you can use it for the neg negation, which is really good. Uh, also, but the main reason I'm running it is Zark, so. The three Wisdom Eye Magician, and again, this is pretty self-explanatory for most Pendulum Magician things, because it's just really, really good because of its Pendulum effect. Um, really it. <laughs> um, moving on to the Double Irish Magician. Triple. Triple, triple of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh it's really good because it, you can double damage uh for one of your dark spellcaster type monsters and then when it's destroyed by a battle or its own effect you can search a pendulum graph so like the spell the spell trap the spell card or the trap card busted um moving on you've got the perform pell pendulum sorcerer not only does it destroy both your scales pull for pendulum magicians because you don't really want scales after you're done using them it searches your pet performer pal monsters. It's also a really good um I'm trying to think of the it, it also like it's also a good two scale. It's it's a good card. Just run it. Um moving on to the Violet Point uh Violet Poison Magician. This card's really good because you can target a dark spellcaster you control. It gains twelve hundred attack, and then you can also when it's destroyed, you get to target one face of card on the field and destroy it, which is you're giving a buff. To one of your dark spellcasters, you're giving a one card, card in your opponent's field for basically for free. So that's really good. Um, Harmonizing Magician. Harmonizing Magician is pretty good. It's the level four tuner of the deck, so it helps you get out those level eight synchros that are really good, aka the uh, the Ignister, Cyframe Lord, Scrap Dragon, stuff like that. So it gives you a free card from. It also gives you like a free level four spellcaster from the deck. Be nice. Um, so basically, it gives you like a free double iris and such. Maxi, because Maxi, obviously one cop one copy of that. 
Um, I'm running two pot of desires. I don't really like to run three because I feel like if you run three, you thin out your deck way too much. So two is good. Triple Duelist Alliance. This card is really good because not only it does not only does it search out your double Irish magician, which is super super good, and it also searches out your perform Hell pendulum sorcerer and your Odd Eyes pendulum dragon if you ever do want that out of your deck. Um, good search for most things. The one. Pen, uh, one pendulum call, and basically what this is is you get to discard one card, add two magician monsters, magician pendulum monsters with two different names for your deck to your hand, which is super good. Also, the rest of the turn. So if you're going into that final pendulum sign, it's super good. Um, two cosmic cyclone because spell trap removal is pretty key in this deck. You don't want anything stopping your plays. Um, two wavering guys again. Um, which is really nice, and then if you're doing a mirror match, you get to add another Wavering Eyes and banish one card of the field. So that's pretty good. And then on top of that, you get a search, and you get to do a free 500 burn, so that's pretty good for a game. I've actually gamed a few people with Wavering Eyes, so... <laughs> Although nothing beats Cowboy for games, so... Half of Ages, I only run one copy of this card, because I'm not a big fan of the smoke card as much as I am with the trap. Um... It's like your opponent can't target your spellcaster type monsters with spells, obviously. And then if a magician leaves your field, you can at you can search another magician, which is pretty good. Third, uh, this card is insane. You can literally just destroy some cards on your opponent's field. It's really, really good. Um, then you have the Psalm Scolding next, the last card in the deck. I'm only running one copy of this, uh, but basically, if it's the only set spell spell trap card in your um. You can pay 3,000 life points and literally negate anything, which is super good. Moving on, you have the extra deck, which is consists of Supreme King Zark. You don't have to run this. This is just my personal preference and uh, just another tech I'd like to add to the deck because I, I want my own personal flair in it. But um, if you don't know what Zark does, basically it's a free board wipe and uh, can't be destroyed, and it's really, really good. That's really all you need to know of it because its pendulum effect isn't that great. Um... Um, uh, this card is really good, with especially with the effect steal uh, thing that you can do with it. Literally, just steal an opponent's effect, and it's a it's a contact fuse, so you don't need to use polymerization for it or odd eyes diffuser or, or anything like that. So that's pretty good. Next up is your odd eyes vortex dragon. Uh, this card is super good because not only does it give you free bounce when it's um, also when you like when your opponent activates something monster in your extra deck to your deck negate the activation and you do destroy it which is super good which helps out a lot of situations so if your opponent act for activate something then it's a really good like get out of jail free card for that I have the ignister prominence uh this card i shouldn't have to even have to explain why i have to run this because it's really token in literally every pendulum deck i got another reason i mean it's token in most decks that can level eight synchro so myself there scrap dragon is one though i should because not a lot of people expect it or one spell trap you control so basically you're going to be destroying the double double irish magician the or the violet poison get their effects and then you can also destroy one card your opponent controls which is so good it actually is a really good tech for this deck next up you're going to be uh it's the lightning paladin and, um, not only do you get to recycle spell cards, you can inflict damage to your opponent. Um, no, shoot, <laughs> you can inflict damage uh, to your opponent's um, monster's original attack when it destroys a battle. Uh, destroys a monster by battle, which is really, really good. Up is the Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. Basically, this is another really good, uh, another board wipe. And if something does happen to survive. Uh, it's the same thing as Lightning Paladin. You can destroy a monster's original attack, which is really good. Another combo you're going to be running is the number 39 Utopia and S39 Utopia the Lightning. Pretty self-explanatory for this. I mean, just the free Utopia the Lightning is a really good option for you to go into. You have the Performage Trapeze Magician. This is really only for the Trickstar matchup. Nothing else. You're never going to make it otherwise. So, Yeah. <laughs> King Dragon Dark Aurelian. This card is really good for OTKs, really. This is like, if you have a kill confirm, 
because it's really good. <laughs> uh, Karen Gorgon, uh, this is more of like a four, but I like to run it because you can redirect um, targets, which is super good with this card. I like that. Also, you get to annoy the crap out of your opponent because they have to use the 50 button on their life point calculator. It's great. Next up is the <coughs> one time star magician. And this card is really one of the main rank fours you want to be making in this deck. Not only does it protect your, uh, not only does it like help like with your magician searching and stuff, it also helps to protect them, which is really really good. Last last but not least, you're going to be running abyss dweller because graveyard lockout is amazing. Deck most so, of the cards are. Are there any yeah, cards in this deck that you think you'd want to cut for uh, anything more consistent, or would you uh, you like it <laughs> like how it is? I do like it how it is, but I mean you could. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to run maybe one of the other continuous spell cards, the uh, um, Spell Pendulum Graph. Mm -hmm. Run that. But I mean, would you uh, be tempted to run Third Desire potentially? Or uh, no? Well, the only reason I don't want, like to run a Third of Di Desires is it thins out the deck too much. Mm -hmm. What about an Upstar Goblin? Something like that, where it's a little bit of a different set of draw power? Could. The only reason I don't like the Upstart Goblin is because with this deck, you want to kill your opponent quickly. You don't want to be giving them life points. Mm -hmm. Makes I sense, yeah. I played around with Upstart Goblin when I didn't really have a maxi at my disposal. Much experience. Really. Didn't really work. I always I always lost by like that Upstart Goblin's effect because I was always lose by like 2,000 life points or 1,000 life points. I'd get them yeah. down to that really low area, and then I'd never have the chance to actually kill them because of the life points I gave them. Yeah, makes sense. It gives them more life points to work with for, like, Solemns. So, like, mm -hmm. Strike and Warning. So that's why I don't really like the Upstart Goblins much anymore. Makes sense, makes sense. What would you say is your hardest matchup? Oof. Uh, <clears throat> Spirals was kind of a pain in the butt, but that's like the last competitive game I've ever really played with this deck. Um, you say Spirals? Spirals, but that's probably okay. going to change in the future with uh, yeah. new ban list. New set coming out, so new ban list too. I remember the last time I went to a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been so busy with school and such. What was your yeah, easiest? Not because of school, just because of uh, laziness, basically. <laughs> What's your easiest matchup? Tricksters, really. <laughs> Trick stars are such an easy matchup. Dinos are pretty easy too. How good you would you say this uh, this is in the mirror match? In the mirror match. Um, Sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, I'd say it's very good in the mirror match. Um, magician deck is again good against another pendulum magician deck. You just have to know what you're doing in a mirror match in order for it to. Cool. Cool. Yeah. If you can, if you know what you're doing more than the other player, then you'll win the mirror match. That's basically how it works with the pendulum magicians, and I feel like my, most mirror matches too. Yeah. You Honestly, don't with the wavering guys too. That'll also help you a lot in mirror matches. So you don't know how to ha you don't know how to how to you don't have to know how to play. You just need to know how to play better than your opponent. That's you go in general. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, very true. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the deck profile, and uh, yeah, just do the thing. Outros are hard. <laughs>